Well, some people may think the scariest part of Halloween is the costumes, maybe a haunted house. But ask a doctor, and they will probably tell you the scariest part is the injuries people get from carving all those pumpkins. Yeah, and those types of injuries are completely preventable. So joining us now with our tips to keep you and your little ones safe while carving those pumpkins this weekend, it's mom and hand surgeon, Dr. Aaron Nance. Thank you for joining us. Hi, thanks so much for having me. All right, so let's jump right in. Dr. Nance, your first tip is an obvious one. Make sure the area that you're doing this in is well lit. But you also say make sure that it's dry, too. Why is that? So you want to have a stable base when you're carving a pumpkin. If the pumpkin is wet, your hand could slip. Also, I recommend putting the pumpkin directly onto a dry like, cutting board because if you line it with newspaper, paper towels, mm. that pumpkin could shift back and forth, again, causing slipping and then injuries with cutting your fingers. Okay. All right. Well, kids, as we all know, they love to be part of any pumpkin carving process, but it could be very dangerous for them. How can you help them stay safe while doing it? So I know that kids are so excited to carve pumpkins, but really only adults should be using the knife. The kids can help with drawing the face, scooping out the seeds after everything is, you know, scooped out. And then also if they're really young, they can put stickers and glitter on the pumpkin as well. We see it in this uh, video, but also just we know that nowadays there's these carving kits and utensils that kind of make this process a little bit more safer. But you say that you're still seeing injuries from people carving pumpkins using knives? So if you use a knife, the problem is the knife will go into the pumpkin, but then it tends to get stuck in the pulp. And when you pull it back mm. is when you're at risk mm. for cutting your finger. So I don't recommend using your steak knives as your tools. Use those tools that you can find on Amazon or in a kit from CVS. Yeah, I, I mean, there's a lot of variables there when right. it comes to using real knives. But um, so there's also a pumpkin carving hack that we're seeing online uh, where people use a hand mixer of all things to loosen up the insides. Would you suggest that? Actress Jennifer Garner posting a video of herself doing it. Have you tried this? So I haven't tried it myself and it looks like a brilliant hack. The one thing that I'll caution parents though is that kids tend to stick their hands in places they're not supposed to. Mm -hmm. So adults should be the only pe person using that hand mixer and keep the kids far away. Okay, let's say if someone does end up injuring themselves or gets a cut or something from this, what do you suggest that they do? So the first thing is to take a seat. The sight of blood can make anybody, anybody you know, a little doozy. So take a seat, don't faint. The second part is just wash your hands under water, get those pumpkin guts off of your hand, and then take a nice clean washcloth or gauze if you have it and put the pressure on directly over the wound for about 15 minutes. If after 15 minutes there's still continuous bleeding, you have numbness or tingling in the finger, or you're unable to bend or extend the finger at your knuckles, go straight to the emergency room. All right, some Dr. Nance, there. that's right. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Thank you so much for joining us today and sharing these tips. Have a safe Halloween. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Stay safe. All right.